to our knowledge. Yes. But we still got to get more. Well then. Yep. Tuesday. Tuesdays are nice. Morning. What's up? By the way, the exhibit is, is till the end of this week, huh? We did what we could, and now we wait for the results. Wanna he Let's study. No way, nope. Man. That's not one option. That's a definite no. School's enough for studying. Let's exercise, man. Is it gonna take me to exercise, or is it... Am I allowed to do anything? Hey, hey, guys. Nick K78 back here with more oh, yeah. class time. Uh, in the last one, we met... Kasumi Yoshisawa and got to understand her more from the cleanup and in this one we're gonna see what we could do before the change of heart so let's begin I have actually gotten into fishing lately although it's just the fishing pond from time to time I can't go sea fishing because I can't see sip really easily so much for my dream of being a sailor oh right when people think of sailing the high seas they tend to think of pirates even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal settlements through force, for some reason they ended up getting romanticized. Now then, Karusukun. What is the answer? Do you know which peg like pi parrot toting historical figures as parents became visual shorthand for pirates? I think that's Captain Kid, just based on the fact that uh, Ryuji's confidant is named Captain Kid. Uh, it would make sense because a lot of the answers do get based on the game itself. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually John Silver. You know, like, Long John Silvers. <laughs> but Captain Kid is an answer that would throw you off. That is correct. The answer is Long John Silver, a character from Treasure Island. The story of Long John Silver informed much of our modern view of pirates. Unfortunately, he's only exists in fiction. In terms of non-fictional pirates, well, Captain William Kidd made quite a name for himself, I'd say. Maybe you're familiar with the story of his execution, how he declared that he hid all of his treasure in one place? No yeah. Nice going. Does that help? Nope, but it helps me, it helps me a little bit, but not much. Though research didn't, seems to indicate that he didn't actually have much, still, several novels were written based on his legend, and people still look for his treasure today. By the way, I've heard that there is an island in Kyushu where Kid's treasure is said to sleep. Yep. Kid's secret treasure, huh? Regardless of actual worth, there's still value in letting that many people dream about it. We should be goonies. <laughs> That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking of. Don't skip practice. Her whole routine. Oh, they were talking about her. How rude. Don't gossip about people. You don't know. All right. Let's see. On the phone. On wants us to meet. We also have... Uh, talk to me if we had the guts. All right, where else can we go? We should improve our knowledge, that's for sure. Um, I've been trying to get my knowledge up for a certain area. We can't go to the other areas, so I guess the library it is. Plus, I want to make sure that uh, the books. What would you like? are fine. There's still guts. And I still want the speed reader. Uh um Yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can study in the corner. Hey let's do it. The choice of pencil lead. Yep. Okay, that helps a lot because we get two points. Wanna head back? Yep. An 
evening. We should probably brew uh, some coffee if we can, because that would be ideal. Also, this is knowledge, isn't it? If it's a crossword. You know what? I have not tried the crossword before. I and I can, I can save real quick to make sure. <laughs> Just in case I really didn't want to do that. Never know. All right. Mm. A crossword. If you solve it, your knowledge will increase. Try the hand. Find the answer, and that matches both the hint and the number of spaces. Hey, hey. I'll play a little. If I solve it, I get a piece of knowledge. All right. How is the school years divided? That should be a semester. It's S E M E S T E R S. There are three S's, so that works. Down a student's test. And then impart knowledge. And also the final result. I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure it's a semester. Oops. No, 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 no. How do we... How do we undo? There we go. <laughs> I could, you know, I can't see the button sometimes. They are at the bottom of the screen and then. Semesters. Semesters. Many schools participate into two or three semesters. In Japan, a sem new semester begins in April. And then June to July is wheat year. October to September is sugar year or pesticide year. All right. I see. Nice. Can I continue it? Please? Wait, can I do it again? Man. Look over the trivia. Oh. Hey. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I could have been doing this for a whole entire time. And still went on with my day. Are you serious? Dude. Ah. Okay, well, we'll just brew some coffee now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've been skipping it because I thought it passes time. Oh, oh no. Uh, I could have totally finished that whole crossword, yes. I'm pretty sure. All right. All right, we got two LeBlanc coffees, and I got some charm. Yep. Hey. <laughs> Tell me about the coffee. Mm. This taste. It's Colombian Narino. Let me explain. Colombian Narino. The high altitude, rainy climate, and soil of the Colombian mountains creates a strong foundation for their high quality coffee. Narino coffee has a cre creamy, viscous body that coats the mouth with fruity and nutty flavors. <sighs> the flavor profile is bland. You should roast it. But then. Then again, I like how you do this. <sighs> I like that you tried. I have the potential. Well then. Definitely rest. Six one. We're almost there. Uh, achoo! Sorry. I couldn't hold it in. All right, the headlines are. Employee posts nude chef selfie while Duck Burger claims to have fired the employees in question. Was, oh my goodness. Is Shibuya unsafe? Crime rising. The police are issuing warnings for people trying to be wary of the scams. Hot spots of Tokyo. Tickets for the uh, Madarame exhibit are available until June 5th. Hmm. Yep, it's the end of this week. After school. Well, Alright. Mementos is affected by the pollen. However, I am still trying to get my knowledge up. Is there anyone in school that wants to... Okay, An and Ryuji both want to be friends with me. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, what? It's supposed to be... Is this supposed to be the Phantom Thieves logo? It looks kind of dumb. Good job, class. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go hang out. Uh, 
I kind of want to hang out with On just so I could find the uh, uh, get a follow up from her because she's probably going to be in my party a lot still. Hey, On. We'll just have to wait. Um. Oh, he started training, so you should totally help me. Yeah, we'll do that. Hang out yes. with her. <laughs> Man, big open places I like like this are great. I think my training is going to be super good today. So I remember what I said before how I wanted to strengthen my heart. Well, I came up with a way to do it. How's that? Um, I don't think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try not to get faced by it. What kind of stuff? <laughs> We've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. I guess I should say something to on. Come on, hit me with your best shot. You're an airhead. Oh yeah, 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 and? You're a hard worker. Uh-huh, what else? <laughs> <Can I? laughs> I probably shouldn't like say this out loud, but I had to get under her skin, right? Wait. What? That's cheating, you're disqualified. Huh? Wait, is that how this game's supposed to go? Oh well, underground two. Yes. Bring it on. I don't think this will help your heart. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. You finally get it, mm. huh? Something's not right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I just got an emergency email from an agency. Next shoot is really far. Wait. What's in this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Then asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there's a change in schedule. It sounds like the shoots have been really hectic with all the scrambling they had to do for substitutes. That's odd. Yeah, yeah it's a total mystery. It really confuses the staff to see a substitute model show up too. Though, actually, my first modeling gig was a, as a sub. That was back when I was still with my Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their event. Oh, I haven't told you. My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country, so I only seen them for half of the year. Maybe these last days. Less these days. You lonely? Uh -uh. I'm used to it by now. It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our living caretaker. I don't really have any friends. Well, that got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, when I'm modeling, it feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's nice to have a hobby to have, but I don't think I want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kabashita first spotted me, and that's how our class started those rumors. Besides, the fan thieves are much more important to me right now. Nobody can substitute me there. Yes. That's why I need to get stronger. Uh, I hope I accidentally didn't make On fall in love with me, because that was, uh... All right. That was awkward. Because <laughs> then, then I ruined my plan. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was this female thief. She used to beat loose the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really good, per se, but she was beautiful, strong, and severe, and even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted and did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. I wanted to be grow up to her. I wanted to grow up and be like her someday. <laughs> I hope I'm getting closer now, if only a little bit. Bye. See you later. Hey, it's me. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming today. So after we met up, I tried doing some runway walks on the way home, like a cool sexy woman would walk. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started copying me and runway walked with me. They had to see me, right? Do you think she thought I was cool? Could be. Hehe, <laughs> you're enough to make me blush, kind of. To be honest, I can't feel bad for her. She had no idea the real me as a human disaster. Mm, I guess I still got a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. 
I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome my obstacles. Thanks for hearing me out. Okay, bye. I'm so sweet. I wish I had got her as a level 10 for the first playthrough, but I wasn't too interested in her at first, so... Oh. I assume you all are curious, so I'm sending you an update just in case. Matarame is still bedridden. He has still... He hasn't spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. Come on, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. It's June already, though. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Madarami's had a mental shutdown. But there's no point if he doesn't have a change of heart and call off that legal action bullshit. Was this how it was when you defeated Kamashita? Pretty much. Yeah, Kamashita was kind of out of school for a while. Either way, there has been no palpable progress. It appears the only target, the only target, the only the target themselves can tell whether or not their heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We gotta hear more from Madarame himself, whatever the deal is. Yeah, there's nothing we could really do. Let's try waiting a little longer. Hey, hey. Yep. Actually, that was a good idea. Also, I forgot. A couple episodes ago, I forgot that I had <laughs> some outfits that I had washed. So, let's see. I think... Okay, well, yeah. We have the cat's night collar that we washed. So, here it is. And we're going to sell all this other one for cats. And then we also have the angel's cape. An's going to get it right away because uh, she's our only lady right now. And nothing else. Yep. It would be nice if I could also... Hold up. Is there a thing? No. This is still going. Alright. Well then. Off to the laundromat. Succubus pajamas. old, And a bunch of Duke's Code stuff. Old ghastly dress. Thursday. Thursday. I want to ask you something. Why did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? Maybe he grew a conscience. Is that your hypothesis? It's still too sudden. I believe it's only natural to think that something must have caused it. Well, that's fine. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. Okay. I do apologize for those who liked Makoto and it seemed like I was making fun of her. There was a lot of pottling. Alright, so we have... A couple episodes ago when I was talking ab about upgrading my personas. I got this for electrocuting at somebody. <laughs> or at least like trying to electrocute somebody. So I get to sell that at some point. Ren, you want to wear a dress? <laughs> Okay, the Zen outfit could go to uh, Ryuji, I guess. Oh, it would be nice if I could go prove my knowledge, so I'm gonna do that again. No, oh, reading table. <laughs> Don't get involved. They still hate me sometimes. Do. Did you notice? All right, two knowledge. Not a rank increase, but it still helps. Ah, All right. You're back. Yep, I am. Okay, there's no thing. Uh, I would see. Hold on, is Sojiro going to level up too? No, he's not. Alright, as much as I want to keep working on him, I still should study because, like, now I need- listen. What do you want to do? I need knowledge. Sure That's all up. I need. Wow! <laughs> An extra two. Third. Hey! Oh, 
Oh, we grabbed a seat. Oh, nice. Oh, we can finish boosting some more knowledge by doing this book. Hmm. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Three. Three is good. Three is definitely good. Pretty efficient. And no, no question for me. Let's see. Maruki wants to talk to me. Let's see. Just to remind myself, Maruki is at four. And he could teach me mindfulness, which will have a chance to restore Joker's SP when it is low. That would be actually a good idea. So let us do that. Hey, how have you been? If you don't mind, if I... Can I ask for some of your time? It won't take up long. It'll bond right away, so let's do it. I'm glad to hear it. Let's meet at the nurse's office. Da -da -da. Okay. No. Sorry. Well, today is just going to be back to another back and forth as usual. Or will it? Today's your lucky day! Please take a look at what's on the table. Sushi? I've been listening to you making all this tough traumas about pain and grief lately, so... Wow, oh, I've found all these cookies in an underground mall. Now I can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies, too. Ooh. I thought I'd get a surprise for you since you've been kind enough to indulge me all this time. Go, a go ahead and enjoy. This looks great! Go on, don't be shy. I've got enough for seconds. Oh, yes. Oh, as, I know. As long as we're talking about cookies, this actually reminded me about the psychological experiment. The scientists prepared two containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie, but in the other one was filled with cookies. Ten of them. So, then they had their subjects try cookies from each container and ask how their tastes compared. Which container's cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? I want to guess the one cookie t container, because you know the last one is the best one, right? Right. Correct. Easy to guess, huh? There's something called the Law of Scarcity. It's about what you'd imagine from the name. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see in this in the law of action by observing how people get excited people get over the limited edition merchandise. Whoa. You're right. You know I'm right. Don't you think it's really fast? I do. I don't I never thought about that before. In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Not only that, but the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, observable difference in our reality. Hmm. I guess that means those who are trying, who are distorted, are experiencing some sort of scarcity at an extreme level that they think it, like, on the opposite spe spectrum, maybe? Maybe I'm too into this. Basically, your perceptions can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. It's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea? That your con unconscious desires may have changed the taste of a cookie? Hey, as long as it tasted good. That definitely does not the usual response, but it's one I can understand. It probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart could falter or be unreliable sometimes. But if this experience proves anything, it's even simple. It's even a simple preconception that could be enough to bring someone more joy. For example. For example, take that story I just told you. What if you had eaten that one cookie and it had been the best cookie of your life? Say I never revealed the trick behind it. The cookie would have remained more than del just delicious. Remained more delicious than usual. I would have. It would have been a subjective truth of your reality. I guess? Oh god, you're here to say that. Basically, what I wanted to say was... 
If the idea of the preconception could be studied further and actually applied to treating people, I feel like it could help a lot of people, maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Then again, it relies so heavily on perspective, some people might call it a lie or see it as running for problems. Still, even if that's true, I believe that the method could save a lot of people. Sorry. Oh, yikes, I'm so sorry! We wound up into getting an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. Whenever I'm talking to you somehow, I always end up going back to my research. I'm truly grateful for everything you've done, not just because I could get your opinion on these things, though. It's more like as if I'm talking to an old friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all for the sake of our deal, right? So we say anyway. Okay. You are weird. <laughs> I'll be honest, he is a little weird. Now then, I better show you the way to mentally train myself. All right. Another increase and another snack. Donut worry. Well, see you. Donut worry about this cookie. Hello. Oh, this is Maruki. Sorry about earlier. This is supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another dis big academic discussion. I really don't mind. You're always so kind. You might be a better counselor than I am. But I've always been like this. I've always get so hyper-focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Oops, there I go rambling again. Sorry, sorry. Alright, see you again soon. Ah, you're back. Alright, is that it's crosswords there? Yes! Play a little. Alright, question two. Hanami Cherry Viewing. B-L-O-S-S-O-M? -S -S yes! Blossom. Blossom. Known as a flower watching in English, Hanami is an old trick. Japanese tradition for viewing the cherry blossoms and enjoying the rival spring. The flower mentioned in traditional Japanese poetry actually refers to the plum flower. It's said that cherry blossoms overtook the state the usage during the Heian period. Alright. I see. Nice. Well, that's another point. Alright, and then I can uh talk to Sojiro. You got time right now? It won't deepen just yet, though. All right then. Either that, or I could study. Nice. Oh right. Oh, none of these will help, unfortunately. Yeah. There's a sweet tooth, and then the lady, and then uh, someone who's a young man at heart. I mean, he kind of is a young man at heart, but I don't know. Oh. We're getting started. It's been getting humid lately, huh? But it's time like th it's times like these where we've got to push through the funk. Don't let the weather get you. Well, that was the plan anyway. Then I got police officers asking what I was up to. Do I really look that suspicious? <laughs> Oh, but speaking of looks, have you seen someone you recently thought, who, or have you seen someone who you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice too? That thought process is norm totally normal, even if not always accurate. These are even a name for that. How about you? Any guesses, Kuruzukun? Uh, what do you think the name for the phenomenon is? Uh. I was guessing either the Pygmalion effect or the Halo effect. Oh, it's the Halo effect. This is it. Right. Correct. I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities, and your broader perception of someone gets can get biased. Once you've gotten that far, it's hard to make uh, totally objective judgments. Like that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. Nice. Nice going. 
that help? Yes! Scholarly. All right. The halo effect isn't bad, but I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Plenty of terrible people look down. It look perfectly decent on the outside, but Lady On looks perfect. Okay. It's raining. It may happen in mementos. All right. I think we'll figure out what we want to do since there is one more day of change of heart. I think we'll figure out what to do with that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys then.